Hey, what is good, A team? It's your boy T. Back at it with another reaction. Now, if y'all couldn't tell from the title, man, well, the day we got that Lakers reaction, coach. I'm sure most of y'all have seen what happened. I actually started cele not celebrating, but I was recording myself a little early. Like, are we about to mount this comeback? You feel me? I thought I thought it was about to happen, coach. No joke. But it is what it is. Game three, Lakers versus Nuggets. Of course, the Lakers went up 2-0 in this series. Um, now, my original pick was the Lakers in six going into the series, but like I said, after the game one win and the game two win, I was like, yeah, possibly Lakers in four, coach, or five, you feel me? Clearly, actually, for the ones who might have not seen it, I ain't gonna ruin it, but it's tough, coach. It's tough, you feel me? We almost, hey, we about to go ahead and check out these highlights. Hopefully, it's some heat, but y'all, before we hop into this, if you're new, be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're enjoying the video throughout, take some time out, smack that like button for your boy. I definitely appreciate it. Let's go ahead and hop on into this. All right, bro. Bro, now my thing is how the narrative changes every single game, bro. Somebody could literally, y'all could go from Yo, this guy, he's not playing up to his potential till he have one good game and his team wins. And y'all are praising the man like he the second coming to damn <laughs> Michael Jordan. Did you feel me? Oh, that's tough. That was a tough end and out. But, yeah, they were on, um, like, Jamal Murray, the commentators. Jamal Murray with the with – the, with the tantalizing or centralizing game, something he said, 25 points. And I go back to game two, Jamal Murray scored 25 points. He scored 25, y'all saying he need to do more because his team lost. He scores 25 and they win. Now he's the best player in the world, I guess. I'm like, what are you like? Come on, bro. Y'all niggas are OD. Y'all niggas are OD. My thing is just stay consistent, bro. Like, don't knock a nigga too much because of one loss and don't praise him too much because of one win. No matter who the player is, whether it's LeBron, AD, whatever the case is, you feel know I me? Mean? Because even like last game with AD hitting that three-pointer, everybody hyping him, oh, yeah, man, AD. But if he'd have missed that shot, had the same exact game, but he missed that shot. Oh man, oh man, he don't he don't need to be out there shooting, man. You gotta get in the paint on that one. Y'all only down this this amount of points. You didn't even need that three. But he hit the three and now y'all praising the man like he Ray Allen or some shit. Like Calm down, bruh. And I'm a Lakers fan, you feel me? But I just hate how the commentators and every like the sports analysts and all that just hype everything up, bruh. It literally don't matter what. First of all, that was a tough dunk from LeBron. He low-key hooked them, but I'll take it. Tough pass. Now, Dwight, I think they said Dwight. Well, I just checked it. Dwight plays four, played 14 points. Played 14 minutes this game. JaVale McGee, I think, only played like eight minutes. I wonder why that is, though. Or have they been playing the same amount of minutes in game one and two? Look at this score, though, bro. That was actually kind of tough, bro. The start and stop right there was beautiful. I can't even lie. Like, look how he slowed it up right there and then just pound, dribble, turn me up. That was tough. And for all the ones who, who watched my reaction to the game five, which was the last game in the Rockets series, the Lakers versus the Rockets, I said in that series, we cannot sleep. No, no, I think it was my reaction to game seven of the Clippers versus the Nuggets. I said, we cannot sleep on Jamal Murray, bro, or Jokic, because both of them can go off. That's tough. That's so Dirk-esque, it's, it's crazy, bro. But you can't sleep on them, bro, because they're definitely capable of it, of going off. But it's like, that's tough. My only thing is we had Caruso guarding Jamal Murray, like, a lot of times in this game, or at least in the fourth quarter. Like, do we want to put, like, elite, get in the zone or just put somebody else on him? I ain't saying Caruso is a, he can't play no defense, but 
He's definitely not our best defender, that's for sure. And Jamal Murray is, is the Nuggets' best offensive player besides Jokic. So, like, you got to get somebody else on this, man. Crazy thing is, I don't remember seeing Danny Green in the fourth quarter at all. But we had Kuzma in selling the bag, bro. Selling the damn bag. Really, we like really we literally could have won this game still, but we were missing all these shots. Like it's three point game and we missing shots, bro. Like we getting wide open shots, fast break, and we either turning it over. Like AD threw through a pass, Rondo dished it to him. He could have dunked it, should have dunked it, but he threw it right back to Rondo for him to lay it up. And Rondo like lost the ball, went out of bounds. I think he was only down either two or three at that point. It's tough. That's a tough that's a tough move. Kuzma, come on, coach. I mean, I get it, Jamal Murray, but come on, coach. It's tough. Guard that man and one. With the left. That was a tough bucket. Well, they said this guy Grant went off I think he had twenty six tonight. That was definitely a, a good game for him. I don't see him averaging or scoring 26 <laughs> the next couple games, that's for sure. Keep that same energy. That's all I, that, that, that's all I got. And it'd be people, oh, man, so, I mean, what are you saying? He can't he can't get a hype after making a, like, tough play? No, you can get hype. But just keep that same energy. That's all That's all I ask. Just keep that same energy. Get as hype as you want to get, my guy. You know what I'm saying? It's your world. But keep that same energy. That right there was like Kuzma. Why didn't you throw the alley up? Like you still made the pass, but it was like AD didn't throw you that for you to get him in a chest pass back. Now that's for sure. I could have just kept the ball if he was going to do that. That was a foul. I'll give you that one. That was a foul for sure. I don't know how they didn't call that one, but Rondo definitely had to mess out of him. And Rondo, bro, he was playing some uh, some aggressive defense from like eight minutes in the fourth quarter to like the three minute mark, three or four minute mark. Come on now, you gotta call those. This is a tough bucket. That's what I mean, bro. When when Murray start feeling it, that's that's hard to stop sometimes, bro. This to me was so bummy. That was a tough pass, but it was still that's that's bummy, bro. Hey, you got it, bro. He threw that bit to the to the ceiling. And I'm saying now, now Kuzma wants to get a bucket. And that's the thing, Kuzma shot like four for for six, maybe four for seven. So it ain't like he really shot too bad. But from what I see, it just didn't look like Kuzma was playing to his fullest potential. You feel me? All right, bro. That was the Lakers versus the Nuggets, game three. Jamal Murray had 28 and 12. That's tough. Grant, 26. Is he scoring 26 again? I highly doubt it. He might, might get 20. Really, I want to say 18 would be his highest game after the night. But we're going to wait and see, Coach. You feel me? This is a tough game by the Nuggets, though, bro. I mean, we still almost mounted that comeback. Bro, we was literally right there. Like, three minutes in the game, it was a three-point game. And it was just five minutes before that, like a 15-point game. But literally, we were so gassed, bro. Like, you could tell when they were shooting free throws and stuff. Like, they just got their hands on their knees. Like, bro, I need a breather. But we only had, like, two timeouts. So, I think they were trying to save them just in case we needed them. Which is understandable. But it is what it is, bro. I mean, at this point, like I said, from game one and two, I was thinking I might change my pick to Lakers in four or five. 
but of course it's not gonna be in four. Really, I'ma just stick with, with, with my pick of Lakers in six, even though I want it to be in five. I'ma stick with, with my pick of Lakers in six. I know y'all Denver fans are gonna be in the comments, even though y'all were nowhere to be found after game one and two. Say goodbye, you feel me? But it is what it is, bruh. We definitely come with that reaction to game four, so y'all stay tuned for it. But hey, y'all get down there in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought about this one. Let me know, have y'all picks changed for this series or y'all still got what y'all got? I know some of the Lakers fans were saying Lakers in five, Lakers in four. Let me know what y'all updated picks are if y'all got them. But hey, man, we on the road to 15K subscribers. A hey, team, I appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going, keep it growing. Hey, y'all definitely be sure to go check your boy out. Instagram, Twitter, man, that's underscore AT. And definitely be sure to go check out the clothing line as well. Instagram, Twitter, that's at 5 King. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to smack that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And like always, say y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm gonna keep these videos rolling out. We gonna keep getting it lit over here. Catch y'all in the next video. I need a box to sit to the spot. You're trapping this froze, and I'm getting hot. I'm having all the O's looking like N and I.